This is a presentation on how to use the product feature opcclient.net. opcclient.net is an OPC server that you can install at each third-party OPC client to allow direct connections to the OPC system service and this could be opcsystems.net tags or direct OPC items coming from other OPC servers. This is a great product to do communications across the internet for third-party OPC clients that do not support TCP IP connections or easy networking that rely upon their local DCOM connection to the OPC server. The product is extremely simple to use. You simply install the opcsystems.net OPC server at each OPC client and then start your OPC client and begin connections to the OPC items from the service. I'm going to use the OPC Foundation sample client that's found under the program group opcsystems.net tools. You can use any data access 2.0 or 3.0 OPC client. From the OPC Foundation sample client I'll select browse and I'll select the opcsystems.net OPC server. Now we'll create a subscription on that server. I'll specify a data rate of 100 milliseconds put in a group name and I can either browse remote network node services or I can go to the local system. When you're browsing remote services if you want to use an IP address you'll have to manually enter that into your OPC item path but you can use the network node to get an example of what that's going to look like for a remote connection. On the local service I see all of the opcsystems.net tags that are defined under configured tags. I can select any one of the tags double click on it and select next and select done. I now have the subscription to that OPC server which is talking to the OPC system service over a TCP IP connection so it wouldn't matter if this connection was local or remote. Now let me demonstrate another feature which is the direct OPC interface. This allows you to basically connect your OPC client directly to other OPC servers through the service connection and use the OPC client to define what items out of the service you want to connect to. Let's select add items. We'll come back to local and the very top selection is direct OPC. When we select this connection we see that we have other OPC servers. Let me use the Kepware OPC server and browse some of those items. I'll go to channel, device, and I'll select this ramp item which happens to be the same value coming from the opcsystems.net tags as well. I select next and done. And there we see that we have the same OPC item coming from both the opcsystems.net tag and the direct connection from the OPC server. So it's up to you whether you want to use direct OPC or the opcsystems.net tags. The opcsystems.net tags you can see make it kind of nice where you can organize your tag names by particular group names. We have particular videos. You can look at the OPC server data source video or the, the overall data source video on how to configure tags of the service. If you have any questions on how to use the opcclient.net feature or any of the features of opcsystems.net, visit our website at opcsystems.com. Under the training videos section, you'll see all of the training videos that, for each of the individual product features. And under the contact us page, you'll see our contact information and also a link to request a free product demonstration.